what did we learn from Manchester City v Arsenal, the Community Shield final? First of all, a lot of controversy over how extra time, um, not really extra time, how the additional time added on to games is working. It is now, if you didn't know, basically like the World Cup. So every minute that is wasted is added on to the game. That's how you're going to see games going to the 100th minute as we saw in the World Cup because of how long the ball has actually been in play, which personally I think is a great decision because there's a lot of teams known for time wasting and you see these stats where the ball during the game has only been in play for about 50 minutes because of the time wasting, ridiculous stuff. So I think that implementing this rule can only benefit football. I know people are saying, oh, games are going to 100 minutes. Well, I think now that this rule is implemented, there will be maybe a two or three or four month period where we will see, just like the World Cup, all these games going to the 100th minute. But then players are going to realize, look, what's the what's the point anymore? What's the point of me wasting two minutes on the floor um, right now when they're just going to add that two minutes on to extra time? So I think players will realize and we will get um, our normal added on times as usual, you know, like plus five, plus four, not that bad or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's much uh, that should be said about that. I think it's a good, good rule and uh, people are always critical of these types of things. But onto the game, Manchester City v Arsenal. Is Manchester City still that team? Yes, of course. We saw how they played. Um, Erling Haaland not really involved at all, but we see how... Uh, I don't want to sound critical of Haaland, but what I will say is um, he had an incredible season. But I remember people... Um, at least people I know is saying that he's one of the best of all time already at such a young age. And I disagree. I disagree because of, I don't think he impacts the games as much as like a young Ronaldo or a young Messi did. He is definitely, at the moment, already one of the best strikers in world football. And I think he could become one of the greatest strikers of all time, you know, if he continues. But you just see his overall impact on the game, not being involved. I, I, I think that it was... Because of how Arsenal defended, they defended very well. We saw uh, once Man City dominated the position, they pressed well and they got everyone back. They had that solid midfield partnership of Thomas Partey and Declan Rice, both working extremely hard during that game. And Manchester City found the breakthrough with Cole Palmer. Beautiful. Uh, Mahrez, yes. Mahrez would be proud of that Cole Palmer finish. And it begs the question, do Manchester City need that replacement? I don't know, I still see them going and getting the likes of uh, Michael Olise or Jeremy Doku that they've linked to, although uh, now Josko Gavardio is now over the line, who, by the way, is going to be excellent in that Manchester City defence. The, the the squad, they still have um, the rotation, the plays they have in that Manchester City team, the fact that they've had um, a shorter break, you know, they, they ended off late last season, I think can only mean... Um, Good news for them. So I think that it's still going to be a very a good season for Manchester City. But I think there's more to focus on from Arsenal. I think Arsenal did very well. Because I thought that even though Manchester City dominated position, I thought that Arsenal created the better chances. They, they were very fluent in attack in the situations. Getting the ball across goal, providing a shooting opportunity. I thought Kai Havertz should have done better with a few, maybe... Uh, probably should have scored at least one. I thought that Arsenal definitely deserved the goal from the game and they got a lucky goal there with Trossard who sent uh, Rodri, I believe, and um, got a deflection. And, you know, penalties, I thought once once it was in the Arsenal end and Arsenal were going first, I expected them to win. Um, so I think this is great for Arsenal. I think it's a great victory for Arsenal. These players got, the, after last season, you know, losing to Manchester City in the way they did, I think this would bring them confidence the fact that they can do it, the, the fact that they beat Manchester City at the start of the season will give them a huge confidence going over it. And I think if you're an Arsenal fan, you should be excited because you'll have some rotation in the squad. You know, new pl new players in, you look at like uh, Timber and, and Declan Rice, uh, Kai Havertz, not only are they going to provide you with first-team opportunities it's not that are going to play less, but can be more important because of your having a bigger squad to compete in the Champions League, in all the Cups, in the Premier League. 
And I think I was I was very re- I was really impressed with Trossard. I, I'm always really impressed with Trossard, and I I genuinely do believe that um, he's going to fight for that spot for Martin in this season. I expect him to get a few starts because Trossard is in a crazy level, to be honest with you. So um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of the Community Shield final. Congratulations to Arsenal, and I'll see you guys in the next one.